Hey, hello everyone, welcome back to X3 Albion Prelude. I'm Afluigi and we are, I've made a whole bunch of progress on camera. It didn't take nearly as long for me to get my rep up with the Argon and the Terrans. So we are actually to ready to proceed with that quest line. But first, let's talk to Najima. Let's, we have been offered the contract by one of the major corporations to supply them with uh, 11,000 units of silicon wafers every Wazira. Turning it down is an option, there are far too many benefits. Set up a mine, in, since we don't actually need to worry, since that value thing is just an arbitrary number and not actually a record of how much money we've made, we'll just take advantage of that. So, as you can see here, I now have a list of people to go talk to. So, let us go, let's start with Mars. Jump device charging at 10%, 20%, 30%. And then we'll head over to Black Hole Sun. I did a bunch of exploring off camera while doing missions to get my rep up target, so I think I have most of the map unlocked now. So it should be relatively easy to move in and just proceed with this quest. Entering system, Mars. Terran Stock Exchange. Are we talking to a stockbroker here? Uh, what's this person's uh, role? Uh, Terran Ambassador. Why would an ambassador be hanging out on a stock exchange? You are talking. Got something to say, pilot? You will listen because I'm a guardian. Of so that's a fish. That's supposed to be an official rank. That's just kind of silly. And what the gunners have to say may very well save Earth. Now read. Xenon will completely overwhelm Sagara's defenses in mere hours unless the Argon intervene. The Terran people will send a representative to hear the case for a ceasefire. Dock at the station with the TP class vessel and I will come aboard. Oh boy, uh, where are my TPs? That's a TP, right? Yeah. Do you not have a jump drive? Apparently not. You're at Mercury? So let's go to Mer- actually, did I send you to Mercury because you can buy a jump drive there? No, I did not. Command accepted. Now we'll send them the scabbard there, we'll jump to Venus, and we'll transfer over the jump drive. And then we'll send the katana over to uh, Saturn to pick up its own jump drive, because I'm getting sick and tired. Of having... Actually, does my, uh, does the Aemon have a jump drive? It does, okay. So actually, let's jump the aim on over. Oh, right, the uh, mobile idle. Command accepted. Jump device aborted. Not enough energy available. Do you not have any energy aboard? Oh, apparently not. So. Docking granted. Command accepted. Notify me when order complete. And I will wait for the TP to show up. You no, know, maybe I should have gone to meet it halfway. It's not too late. Let's do that. Oh, look at Osaka. I do kind of like. The, I. I was never too fond of the Osaka's looks next year. I kind of like how they redesigned it for X4. Although I do really miss the old fighters for the Terrans. Entering the old kind of shuttlecraft Mercury. vibes they had going for them. Scabbard. Oh, right, collision. Command accepted. And we'll close in to, uh, I should have let the uh, scabbard come to me. 
then I wouldn't have to deal with this. Yeah, so I've made progress on this. Um, I actually didn't need to intend to record this. I actually tried to open up X4 to record X4, but this opened, and I figured, Incoming what the hell, message. I'll record a couple episodes of this before switching over to X4. Energy. Command accepted. Command accepted. Incoming message. Incoming message. Command accepted. Alright, let's start with moving the jump drive over. Jump drive transferred. And then we will jump over ourselves. station, make your way straight to the stock exchange. Tana will head down to get its jump drive back. Well, get a jump drive, not its jump drive back. Oops. So we're going to have to pick up both ambassadors. And, uh, actually, I'm going to do that. I'm going to pick up both ambassadors Entry before I head system. to uh, the meeting place. Terran stock Get them to start talking Terran before the actual meeting, unless they lock themselves in the recorders. Incoming message. So the reason the, uh, my mobile mining base ship was hiding out back at uh, that's where it was is so we can, once we're done with this and we officially have, I, I noticed my inventory, I apparently still have the focus jump drive, so it might still work. It might just be story that it doesn't work, but I'm going to kind of follow along with that. Silicon wafers is up and running, and the first deliveries have been made. It looks like we've also found someone to sell any surplus to. This has given the corporation a major boost. We are now at seven. We're a brand leader now. Successfully docked. Heroes of Earth and so Okay, I'm secure. All right, let's go talk to the ambassador in Black Hole Sun. Uh, let's not go straight to the uh, the Jones sector. Let's start on the other side of the system. 10%. Entering system, black hole sun. You are That's convenient. To the automated. Is there something I can help you with? You'll listen because I'm a member of the Federation Overwatch, and what the gunners have to say may very well save the Federation. No read. Xenon will completely overtake Black Hole Sun within hours unless the Terrans come to our aid. The Argon people will send a representative to hear the case for a ceasefire. Dock at the station of the TP class vessel, and I will come Docking aboard. Granted. There we go. We'll come, ab we'll, ha we'll come aboard, and we will uh, then head over to the Goners, I guess. Successfully docked. On behalf of our president and senator, the... Okay, I'm on board. And now over to Elysium of Light. Incoming message. I received word that both ambassadors are aboard your troop transport. The negotiations will take place in the unknown sector east of Legend's home. It is sufficiently away from the war zone for both parties' ease of mind, and we have contacted OTAS to provide additional security. Please bring our distinguished guests so that ceasefire talks may convince. Well, first I want to go talk to this guy in Elysium of Light. Jump device charging at 10%. Yeah, I saw that easy on capture from the distance. Yeah.
Entering system. Elysium of Light. Oh, okay. Apparently I don't have to go talk to the guy. Oh, apparently I have not unlocked all the areas. So where was Elysium of Light? I think it was... Not Elysium of Light. I think we have to go here. Jump device charging at 10%. 20, 30, oh, we don't, okay, he talked to 40, us. 50%, 60, 70, 80, 90, jumping. Entering system, Aladna Hill. Gate, Beacon. We're just going to do it like this just because it's going to be a lot quicker to jump across even if we have to lift, lift the Betty a whole bunch. Entering system, Aladna Hill. And just a couple more sectors. Hopefully we have enough energy to make it all the way there. Actually, my katana should be docked by now, shouldn't it? Entering system. Aquila's beacon. Gate. Legends home. Jump device charging at 10%. 20 30, 40, jump drive, transferred, docking granted, command accepted. No, that's my boss texting me. Okay. Entering system. That was letting, letting me know that I had today off, which was I had already expected. They said um, yesterday. The text they told me when I was leaving that, oh, if we, well, if we, if we don't have anything for you, you have tomorrow off, and we'll see you Thursday. And well, I didn't hear from that day, so it's like, okay, there's gonna be nothing for me to do tomorrow. But I guess they just went over it again today, and we're like, yeah, nothing for Entering you to do. Entering system. Legends home. Gate unknown sector. Jump device charging at ten percent. Twenty. Thirty. Forty. Fifty. There we go. Last gate. Not our last jump, though. We still have to go through the gate. Entering system. Legends home. Entering system, unknown sector. No, well, people are starting to jump in. Incoming message. Um, yeah, I get the burial reef that all your airlocks have remained intact. If you give us the thing on legacy code, the doc wants. We'll supply you with a, an advanced, with a special advanced chokeros. Superior Yaki build, no leaks. Yeah, get bent. Goner, Osias. Autopilot activated. Incoming message. Jump to sector. Let's get him back to Neptune. Command accepted. Incoming message. And we'll Stop equip it with a jump. Granted. Command accepted. So now we make our way over to the go to Roseus, and hopefully wrap up this little story. Oh, there's a small fleet there. 
Otas, mercenary, Astraeus. That is not a very looking, original looking ship. And now we wait, I guess. Autopilot off. Let's park it and get the katana to jump to me. Actually, how much cargo do you have? Do you have enough energy? Yeah, you do. Command accepted. Incoming message. Oh. Uh, message from Argon today live. Treaty of feet of Goner ceasefire talks. Undisclosed location. Garrigan Springer. First of all, I would like to thank our distinguished guests, Terran Ambassador Sarah Shepard and Argon Ambassador Brett Karen, uh, for meeting here under such difficult circumstances. Difficult pretense. Do not dare to downplay barbaric acts of terrorism, such as the partial destruction of the defensive structure known to all as the Taurus Eternal, which claimed millions of Terran lives. Brett Karen. Uh, the Argon Federation will not sit here and be labeled terrorists. Our governor can not, cannot be held accountable for rogue elements of Earth's own people. The Argon people, by, a by and large, did not condone and strongly condemn such extremist acts. And the feed rolls on. Uh, can Onan, Tyler's Corporation business to discuss with you. Can, uh, Jerry, you <laughs> <laughs> really, Najima? Now is when you message me? Oh, God. Anyways, Jerry and Springer. Ambassadors, please calm. Shara. Rogue elements of Earth's own people. I fear security footage that clearly shows Seiya Ko, a second generation Argon citizen and agent under the employ of the Argon Secret Service, setting charges on vital Taurus equipment. Do you deny this, Ambassador Karen? I guess it's Karen, not Karen. Brett. Uh, Brent. And yet you still. Uh, will not admit what drove Seiko to commit such an atrocious act on her own people. Do the Terran people turn a blind eye to willful conducting unsanctioned operations in Commonwealth space after the Neptune incident or the Aldrin expansions? How about outright invasion of sovereign Argon space under the auspices of your overreaching AGI control legislation, Ambassador Shepard? OTAS security details take up positions, extensions flare. Oh boy. If anyone could, if every, poor Jerry again, if everyone could return to their seats, their shepherd, we will not be accused of hypocrisy when it was the Commonwealth that placed the highly restrictive advanced technology embargo on us long before then, preventing our isolated economy from expanding. Commonwealth researchers are fools to believe that the AGI will never succumb to gold drift and turn on their creators. Grant to retorts. The only fool I see now is you. It'd be wise to stop trying to control us. Now here. Do what the religious freak says and take a seat. Before Otas security can react, the Argon ambassador flings a chair, the Terran ambassador ducks nimbly, and the seat smacks into the trade feed. Ready to so yeah, they're uh, all out brawl in the ambassadorial uh, chambers. These negotiations are going real smooth. Incoming message. Hey, uh, hey, hey, ho, hey, ho, ahoy, uh, I have no idea. This is our last time trying to reason with you. This little war might seem a little drastic, just so we can get our grubby mitts on an EMP rifle or three, but them's the break sometime. This feast fire is doomed to fail. Anyway, so why stay on the losing side? We'd hate to see you suck space. Either board or blow up the Azoius. If not, um... Is your up? Yeah. No, the reason the reason why your head is up your boss too is because I told you to get bent twice. Let's head over to the um, katana. Meet it halfway. Because I have a funny feeling we're about to be like that. Katana. Uh oh. This ship is under attack. Somebody please help. Incoming message. At least the katana is well away from the gate. This is even more horrible. This is even more and more horrible. Please can't own a sign up. Protect the negotiations from the Yaki at once. For a second there, I thought there was Najima messaging me. You need to get out of here. 
Docking granted. Command accepted. All right, let's Target go in. Left firing range. Firestorm torpedo. That's a lot of enemies. Do I, have any, I don't have anything bigger to fight this with, do I? This is going to be a very interesting combat. Yaki, Assassin, Tonbo. Oh, I'm not going nearly as fast as I should be. Come on, let me get close enough. Oh, come on, am I almost in Oh. Target is now in firing range. Target left firing range. Yaki, assassin, Tonbo. Oh, one down. Yaki, assassin, Susanova. No, oh, he's trying to go past me. So I will let him, because he's much faster than me. And... Next, we have Thunderbolt, Thunderbolt missile. missile. That's not what I want. Thunderbolt missile. Although, incoming message. Yaki, assassin, right. Okay, good. Scared got away. Alright, that was a mistake. Ugh. Yaki, assassin, Susanova. That one's already gotten past me, it looks like. Is it? What's it doing? Oh. I really hope the gunner is eyes is set to immortal. Wait, what's going on there? What's shooting at me? Oh look, fighter squadron. Okay. Let's turn and engage them. shooting at me. Uh, who's... Yeah, deal with you later. And... Oh! <laughs> It looks like the uh, Otas is engaging the capital ships successfully, mind ya. It's leaving us with the fighters. Did that? Yeah, oh, that Yaki ship did almost fly through the. Uh, oh, it did fly through the geometry of the Otas ship. That's pretty cool. Oh, I wish the Contender didn't fly like a brick in, X3 in this game. Oh, Otas is coming to help, it looks like. Yeah. 
I seriously hope that yeah, uh, the the gunner ship is flagged in the mortal in this arch. Oh, the gunner, the OTAS is coming to assist. Perfect. In that, in that case, I will aid them with the uh, capital ships once the fighters are all dealt with. Yaki, assassin, riding. Silkworm missile. Okay, that's the last of the fighters. Time to Yaki, go for that M7. Assassin, Akurai. Target is now in fire. Oh boy. All right. Yaki, assassin. You know, I will let the Yaki lead the charge. Uh, not the Yaki. I'll let the um, Otest lead the charge on that capital ship. All right. Now I'm going to get rid of that message. How is the Ozias holding up? Its shields? Oh, it, yeah. It, it got damaged. So either the shields dropped and it took a little damage, or it's flagged as uh, invulnerable. All right, here we come. Let's see how we do up against an M1, which is apparently the closest ship. Oh, Goners, uh, I keep calling them, yeah. They have a couple M6s with them. No, and just one M7, no capital ships, unfortunately. Oh, its shields are already dropping. Nope. I think how it looks kind of rusted and old. No, no point shooting that because it's. Oh boy, no point holding it still either. That's not a blind spot. I think the uh, Soshi. I think the ship. Whoa, okay. That's not a good place to sit either. Am I not shooting? Oh, let's turn off the auto aim. That's causing me to shoot off into empty space. Because for some reason, there's a hitbox down there. And I can see some of the fighters are doing the same thing. Three, two, one, and the Hoshi has been eliminated. Now for the tough one. The, um, let's wait for my shields to recharge and f hang up behind the M7, wherever it is. It's over here. No, the actually the, the Akuma almost made it to the uh, um go, has almost made it to the uh, Zayas, hasn't it? Not that it's going to live very long with the amount of fighters it's got on it. And the M7 has been absolutely useless. Okay. Is the Akuma actually firing on the Zayas? Looks like it. Not really.
And we have successfully defended the Gunner Isaias because there's no way. Um, yeah, the Akuma is now at 19, has a now a max speed of 20 meters per second. Target is now in firing range. No enemy. Fire. We come in peace. Oh, look, the feed's back up. Uh, the conference room floor is sl tilted slightly. Furniture, data pads, and anything else not bolted down strewn all over. The gunner liaison gets to his feet with the help of Otas security. Medics scramble among the chaos, tending to the wounded. Here against Springer. Uh, I don't understand. How did the Yaki know of this meeting? Sarah. Uh, how do you think, Gunner? It is obvious that the Argon Secret Service leaked the information. Our intel on their alliance with the Yaki is quite exhaustive. Brent. More Terran lies. It is obvious that Dark Space Pirates and the Yaki are in collusion to assassinate Argon's heads of state. Blood money, I say. The two ambassadors begin to tussle again. To security to pretend to break up the cephal. <laughs> Apparently, I just walk in there now. Enough! The entire room falls silent. I've had it up to here with you two. I didn't see the Yaki attacking either the Terran or the Argon. You want to know what I saw? I saw humans fighting humans. Petty squabbling that has gone... Oh, for fuck's sakes. This is actually what I'm saying? Okay. I saw petty humans fighting uh, squabbling that has gone on for thousands of years. No more. You don't want to know why? <laughs> Apparently. Uh, I think that's supposed to be said... I think that's... Uh, oh, Tridfeet. Apparently I came out of the communication. Okay. Because there's something just a few seconds away, something that is a hundred times more efficient at killing humans than any three of you. T Argon, Terran, Barrel combined. And it is here! Your words sink to the minds and hearts of those in attendance. Can't believe I said that. It's like so cheesy. Not only is it here, but it can't be reasoned with, it can't be negotiated with, and it absolutely will not stop until every planet and sun in our universe is dead. And they continue to stare, uh, they, they're staring at each other now. So go on ahead and let these ceasefire talks fail. Because if they do, neither of you are going to have a home to go back to. Now if you excuse me, I'm going to risk my life for Sol and Sonra because neither of you will. Um, destroy 25 Xenon capital class ships in Black Hole Sun. Uh, I hope, uh, Xenon... M6. I hope M6s can't. I need fuel before I do that, though. Dog jump device charging at. I really hope M6s can't, because I am not equipped to take on. Actually, I could probably. I might be able to take on an M7, a Q. But I'm not equipped to take on Ks and Js on my own. 80, 90, jumping, autopilot activated. So I'm going to charge in there with an M6. <laughs> and I'm going to be this big-ass badass. As some of the, uh, as this Terran guys, uh, this Terran spies were complaining I was Engine earlier system, in the game. Hill. Well, time to be a big bad hero, I guess. But I'm going to save that for the next episode. So, bye.